Welcome back guys, Sherry here. Now I have seen so many of you shy away from these Lionels. And guys, these Lionels are such a great source of arrows and extremely powerful weapons that you're just missing out on. So today, we're gonna stop that. I'm gonna hold your hand and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. And by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to defeat one with a soup ladle and a pot lid. Now some of these techniques I'm gonna share with you may seem simple to some of you. And that's just it. It is simple if you apply these techniques and I can guarantee you it's gonna help. First thing I'm gonna suggest is that you cook yourself up some food. Now we can make a high level attack power for four minutes and 10 seconds by cooking up five mighty bananas. However, you can make a 30 minute high level attack boost by cooking up four mighty bananas and a shard from one of the dragon's horns. If you don't know how to farm the dragons, I'm gonna leave links in the description. But if you'd rather have a high level defense boost, just put iron shrooms in place of the bananas. Now we can also make ourselves a five minute high level movement speed boost by cooking up five lotus seeds. Now if you were to cook up four of the lotus seeds and add a shard from one of the dragons, of course we can make that for 30 minutes. And get yourself some extra hearts. Now you can cook up five hearty durian and it's gonna give you 20 extra hearts. Now I don't need that many, so I just cook up one and it'll give me four extra hearts. Well, two, because I'm only two away from having full hearts. So don't waste your hearty durian and just cook up however many you need. And we can also cook up five Endura carrots and that is going to give you two extra stamina wheels. So just cook up whichever one's gonna work best for you. As an example, you could use the Barbarian Armor, which is gonna give you an attack boost and eat a defense boost. Now, if you don't know where to get the Barbarian Armor, I will leave a link in the description. Okay, the first thing we want to do is save our game. And I cannot stress this enough because this is going to relieve the anxiety of losing anything. Just in case you break all of your weapons or you eat all of your food, all you have to do is go back and reload that game. And then you can just keep practicing. Okay, when you first walk up to a Lionel, don't draw a weapon. Nothing. Just get as close as you can to them and get right in their face. Because if you get too far away from them, they're just going to break out their bow. But let's hold out our shield. And every single attack they throw at you, parry them. All you have to do to be able to parry is hold down the ZL. And then tap the A button at the point of impact. No counter attack, just parry. Every single attack they throw at you. Every attack a Lionel does can be parried. And just keep doing this over and over and over again. You can even parry the fireballs. However, I would not suggest this in tall grass. Another way to handle the fireballs is to just use stasis. However, make sure and hit him or he's just going to finish his attack. If you can't parry the fireballs or use stasis, the next best thing is to run away from them. And it's a lot easier to run from the fire the closer you are to him. Next, let's move on to the dodging and do the exact same thing. No counter attack, just dodge any and all attacks you can. Now to be able to dodge, hold down the ZL button. Don't let off of the ZL button and you're gonna be holding your shield out. When you are ready to dodge, just tap the X button. Just don't let go of the ZL. Now if you want to dodge backwards, you'll keep holding the ZL tap the X button and hit down on your left stick. If you want to dodge left or right, hold down the ZL, don't let off of it, tap the X button, and at the same time, either go left or right with your left stick. Now to know which way you are supposed to dodge, if he is running at you with his sword because he's going to swing his sword sideways, we need to jump backwards. But if he is charging at you like in a straight line, you need to jump side to side. Now, if he is standing in front of you, swinging his sword from side to side, you want to jump backwards. And you may want to jump backwards three times because he is going to swing this sword three times. And when he comes at you with both arms, you want to dodge backwards. Now, once you feel comfortable with the parrying and the dodging and you're ready to counterattack, I do highly suggest that you start out with a one-handed weapon because sometimes these guys will attack you back and it's very difficult to get back to your shield if you're holding a two-handed weapon. 
but there's something you should know about flurry rushes. When you do a flurry rush, it's going to knock durability off of your weapons, and this is how you're going to break your weapons. I personally try to stay away from the flurry rushes, and I prefer to parry. Reason being is, when you parry an attack, there is a brief moment that you're gonna get a chance to shoot him in the face and stun him so that we can mount him. Now this is where you're gonna want to go into your inventory and get the strongest weapon that you have because you're gonna get a chance to hit him five times before he throws you off. And this uses zero durability on your weapons. Now once he throws you off, instantly grab your bow, go into bullet time and shoot him in the back of the head. Now, when I first approach a Lionel, I usually try to get a headshot. I'll use my horse, I'll jump from up high, or I'll just walk up on them and give them a headshot because I want to mount them right from the get-go. Now, Silver Lionels, they have a little bit of a different attack pattern, but the fundamentals are really just the same. If you do the exact same thing and try to parry everything and then try to dodge everything, this will teach you when exactly you're supposed to do these movements. And when they are coming straight down like this with a crusher, you want to dodge side to side. Now, if they run at you and they're going to swing it sideways, then we want to dodge backwards. And again, if they are just charging straight at you, you want to dodge side to side. However, Silver Lionels will roar. Sometimes they'll do it right when you walk up on them or they'll just do it while you're fighting them. But this creates a perfect opportunity for a headshot and mount. Now, if you get at the ass end of a Lionel or if you are beside them and you're too far back, they will spin attack. And when they do this, you can just crouch down and get right underneath their stomachs. However, you want to make sure and stay underneath them if you're trying to do this. So now let's take everything that we've learned and go defeat one with a soup ladle and a pot lid because it can be done. Okay, the first thing I want to do is try to give him a headshot so that I can mount him. Because if I were to do a flurry rush or anything like that, this soup ladle is going to break in a couple of hits. So I just kind of want to show you guys if we can stun them, mount them, and get on their backs we can pretty much use any weapons that we want. Now, once mounted, it's gonna save the durability of our weapons, but obviously just using this soup ladle, it's gonna take a very long time to actually kill him. So more or less, the damage is gonna be coming from the bow that I'm using. And as long as I can actually parry and not miss a parry, I should be able to hang on to the pot lid as well. But if you guys have any comments that you'd like to share or I misspoke about anything or there's just something you want to add, please leave it in the comments below because it helps everyone. And guys, just keep practicing. Save your game, practice, reload, and just repeat the process. Because all this is going to do is just get you used to making these movements at the right time. And I don't know about y'all, but for me, it helped me so much in just doing one movement at a time instead of trying to do all of them at once. But if you'd like to see weapons that respawn, click here. And I want to say thank you guys so much for over 6,000 subscribers. Now, if you enjoy content like this, show me with a like. And if you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys next time.